And I conclude with one hadith and one final advice. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he taught us that in our adhkar al-sabah wal-masa' we're supposed to say la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir a hundred times a hundred times this hundred times could be divided during the day and the night it didn't have to be consecutive you can say 50 in the day and 50 in the afternoon but in one day you say it a hundred times and what's the result Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says number one kana it is equal in reward to as though you have freed 10 slaves from the children of Ismail. Yani, the slaves from the children of Ismail are the Arab slaves. And it was known that the Arab slave is much more expensive than any other slave because of the strength he has, the ability he has and so on. The obedience he has to his master, the loyalty he has to his master. So he was more. Now, what does it mean that you free 10 slaves? What, what does that mean? For me and you, what does that mean? In another hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he teaches us the reward of freeing a slave. He says that the reward of freeing a slave, for every limb of his you free, it is your freedom of Jahannam. Yani ten, you freed 10 slaves, this is your freedom from Jahannam 10 times. How, did it cost you anything? La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd. Wahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Did you have to lift anything? Did you have to run and walk to something? Did you have to pay anything? Nothing. Cheap. Cheap solution from Allah Azza wa Jal. And we still don't value it. Did you say it today a hundred times? Did you plan to say it a hundred times? If I was to tell you free 10 slaves a day, the multi-millionaire won't be able to do that for long. Might do it for a few years and then I'm at this bankrupt. It's not costing you a dollar. Number two, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, it earns a person a hundred hasanat. Well, hasanat is precious in Ramadan. Number three, it wipes away a hundred sayyat. See where the, the, the goodness is. Who commits a hundred sins a day? Yeah, who among us commits a hundred sins a day? Yeah, the idea is even if you're committing a hundred sins, there's your solution. Every morning to say it a hundred times and it'll clean these hundred sins of yours. And then it raises a person 100 levels in the paradise. And then you are the best of mankind on the day of judgment, except someone who has set up more than you. He deserves to be in number one position. With Salaf rahimahumullah, that when we speak about the do you think they said it 100 times? As Salaf rahimahumullah, minimum 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 times a day. That, that's minimum of dhikrullah. And I'm, I'm giving you a reality. If you read the book, Seer A'lam al Nubala, a huge book, it speaks about the biography of the, of the Salaf, of a Sahaba. Of a tabi'een. When you read in their biography, you find, what can I have Allah how many times? And this one, 600, 6,000 times, 5,000 times. Old woman, 10,000 times minimum. O Quran, reading, all of this dhikr, the biggest, the biggest, the biggest effect of it is that it doesn't only bring you closer to Allah, even though that's huge as a reward. But it cleans you from your sins. Which if you realized how big and how huge sins are, you would not waste a second in asking Allah for forgiveness 